Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to solve blocks world problem using backward chaining in artificial intelligence with the help of a simple solved example. In this case, we have been given a set of knowledge bases. Given these knowledge bases, we need to answer this query. That is, uh, there exists W above W comma B. That is, uh, which all blocks are present above B. This is what the question we need to answer. We need to use a backward chaining technique that is also known as generalized modus ponens rule here. Here we need to draw the complete and or proof showing all the answers here. Now, uh, in this case, we have been given uh, five knowledge bases. The first knowledge base says that uh, A is present on C. Second one says that D is present on B. Third one says that E is present on D. Fourth one says that if X is present on Y, then X is above Y here. And fifth one says that if x is present on z and z is present above y, then x is present above y here. So, these are the five knowledge bases given to us. Given these knowledge bases, we need to answer this query that is above w comma b here. So, we will start constructing the tree for this uh, query here that is above w comma b. To solve this query, we have two possibilities. Either we can go with the fourth rule or we can go with the fifth rule here. So, if I go with the fourth rule, above x comma y can be written something like this one that is on x comma y here that is nothing but in this case x is equal to w and y is equal to b so we will get uh, with respect to fourth rule on w comma b here that is the one branch we get here and uh, there is another possibility that is a fifth rule here so what it says is uh, above x comma y can be written like uh, on x comma z and above z comma y here Again, x is equal to w and y is equal to b here. So, if you use this particular fifth rule, we will get on w comma z here. That is, x is replaced with w. Z is the new variable here. And because we have and in this rule, we have taken this uh, uh, and part of this subtree here. And then second one is what? Above z comma y here. Above z comma y. Y is nothing but what? B in this case. This is how the tree looks like uh, once you apply the fourth and uh, fifth rule here. To satisfy this particular goal rule, we have to either satisfy this one or we have to satisfy these two things. These are the things should happen whenever we want to satisfy this uh, the goal node here. So, for that reason, uh, first we will consider this particular sub branch. Now, in this case, we have on w comma b. Here, w is a variable and b is a block number here. Now, what are the possibilities uh, for this one uh, among these uh, knowledge bases? So, if you look at here, the second one, what it says is on D comma B. So, if I replace W by D, we can use this second rule. So, if I use the second rule, what will happen? W is replaced with D here. The meaning of this one is D is present on B. Because D is present on B, D is present above B here with respect to fourth rule here. So, this is the one uh, uh, block we got which is present above B here. What is the block number? B in this case. Now, we will consider this and part of the graph here. So, again, as I said earlier, if you want to satisfy this root node, either we have to satisfy this one or we have to satisfy this one. We got one block which is present above B. Now, we will consider this one and then we will try to find any other blocks are present on B or not here. So, for that reason, I will consider only this particular graph here. Now, again, we will start with this left tree on W, Z here. Again, W is a variable and Z is a variable. On is present in three rules. That is first one, second one, third one here. So, uh, all three are applicable because uh, both of them are variables here. So, in the first case, W is A and Z is C. In the second case, W will become D and Z will become B here. In the third case, uh, W will be E and Z will be uh, D in this case, if I use these three rules respectively here. Now, if you get these particular things, what should happen here? We have considered this branch. Now, what should happen is, it has we have to satisfy this also, then only the root node will be satisfied here. For that reason, what we need to do here is, in this uh, part of the tree, we have B is a, a block number and Z is a variable. So, what we do here is we will consider uh, this uh, second rule first just to understand uh, which one will satisfy and all. In this case, uh, Z is equal to B. If I put this particular uh, Z is equal to B in this case, what will happen here? Above B comma B. B cannot be above B because uh, B is a single block here. B cannot be on uh, or above B here. So, that is the reason this particular rule is not satisfiable. Now, I will consider this particular rule. In this case, Z is equal to what? D here. So, if I replace this Z by D, what will happen here? Above D comma B. Of course, that may or may not be possible, but we have to check it out. So, that's the reason what we do here is, 
we will replace this z by d if i replace this z by d it will become what above d comma b here once it becomes above d comma b what we do here is again we will use fourth one as well as the fifth rule here what fourth rule says uh, above d comma b can be written like on d comma b here so that is what i have written in this case on d comma b now what is the another rule we can use we can use the fifth rule above d comma b can be written like on d comma z is already used so i will take z dash here on d comma z dash and this one is what and that is what i have taken here above z dash comma y here in this case it will be b here above z dash comma b in this case now we will consider this branch what it says is on d comma b now on d comma b whether it is correct or wrong we can check it out with respect to the knowledge basis here if you look at the second knowledge base what it says on d comma b is a perfectly valid statement the meaning of this one is d is present on b here so the meaning of this one is this is the perfect branch where w is equal to e and z is equal to d here now uh, we will see this side whether it is satisfiable or not so what is the value of z we have taken the value of z we have taken d here now what it says is on d comma z dash so what is the possible value of z dash here again if you look at these uh, rules the second rule will match here the z dash will become what b in this case if z dash become b we have to put it over here also that is above b comma b again b cannot be above b here so this rule is not satisfiable what is satisfiable only this is satisfiable here if it is satisfied what will happen here z is replaced with d d is above b here so that is the one thing and if you go back what is the value of w here w is equal to e the meaning of this one is e is above b here now what are the uh, values we got here is uh, what it says is uh, if i replace this z by d d is above b that is the one thing we got here and if i replace this uh, w by e we will get e is above b here so these are the two things uh, or the two blocks present above b in this case now i have shown uh, this is not possible this is a perfectly valid statement now we have not considered this one so we will consider this also and check it out whether we will get any other blocks which are above b here now in this case what we do here is we will uh, put this particular uh, c in place of z here so we will put a c here it will become above c comma b here so because uh, z is equal to c this d is also replaced with what it will be replaced with c here it will be replaced with c here now we will check it out whether the left branch is satisfiable or not so what is the thing we have written here on c comma b do we have any rule here we don't have any rule the meaning of this one is this is not satisfiable now we will consider uh, whether this and branch is satisfiable or not so what is written again here on c comma z dash so do we have any rule here again we don't have any rule the meaning is this is also not satisfiable if these two are not satisfiable the meaning of this one is this is not satisfiable here so what is satisfiable only this is the only thing we will get that is z is equal to d and w is equal to e here if i replace z by d what will happen d is present above b as well as if i replace w by e e is present above b in this case this is how we can use the backward chaining technique to solve the blocks world problem to answer the given query in this case i hope the concept of blocks world problem is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching